<coughs> okay guys welcome back for today's sessions guys i will mute all of you for the moment so if you have a question please unmute and do ask me a question okay if you have question if you are too shy then you can uh, just chat over there i will try my best to answer accordingly guys the day before we have go through in detail about the hydrogen bond are you clear with the hydrogen bond class dalam sebelum ni kita dah tengok pasal ikatan hydrogen dengan detail kita dah go through hari ni hari ni kita akan tengok dua je lagi benda insyaallah kita akan habis chapter hari ni eh so i will do it in a bilingual eh ikatan dative Ah, ah. Ataupun In English We call it a Dative bond Guys Sometime Sometime Dative bond ni Juga dipanggil sebagai de, uh, de, covalent, Dative covalent bond Dative Covalent bond Okay Dative covalent bond Dia juga dipanggil sebagai Ikatan Dative covalent ikatan dative covalent understand eh those are the two things guys dia juga dia juga dia ada banyak nama tau it is uh, danish what is your uh, question eh it is connected with covalent bonds yes it is a type of covalent bond it is a type of covalent bond bond i will explain to you in short blink I will explain to you shortly. Di memang ikatan kovalen tak dinafikan, <coughs> tidak dinafikan di ikatan kovalen, tetapi ada sedikit pelik dengan dia. I will <coughs> okay. So yes, okay. Let's look at that, guys. Dalam BM dulu, dalam BM eh, saya tulis maksud dia. Dia dipanggil ikatan ni uh, ikatan dative. Okay. Sometimes dalam BM dia panggil sebagai ikatan koordinat. Okay. Koordinat. Okay. Koordinat. Okay. Dia, uh, it is also known as a coordination bond. Coordination bond. Sebenarnya kan jangan pening kepala otak ya. Sebenarnya kan Ikatan dative ini adalah sejenis sejenis ikatan kovalen. Okey, uh, seperti yang saya cakap tadi lah, dia adalah kovalen. Okey, kovalen. Tapi, tapi kan, guys, boleh tak you, uh, bagi tahu saya satu? Kalau saya cakap ikatan kovalen, dia apa dengan apa terbentuk? If I say this is a kovalen bond. What and one will give what and what will give you a covalent bond? Tell me. <coughs> yeah, dia adalah bukan logam. Very good. Bukan logam. And tambah dengan bukan logam. Macam mana eh? Macam mana dia terbentuk eh? How they actually form this bond? How they actually form this bond? How they uh, form this bond? By sharing valence valence electron dengan berkongsi electron valence macam mana eh macam mana eh boleh bagi tahu saya tak <coughs> kalau saya ada a dengan b macam mana ikatan kovalen ni terbentuk tell me <coughs> apabila a bagi satu elektron b bagi satu elektron share maka dia jadilah satu ikatan kovalen di mana ikatan kovalen ni apabila unsur bukan logam berkongsi berkongsi i, uh, sama rata eh sama rata elektronnya it is happen it is happen when the non metal element the non metal element share its valence electrons share its valence electron equally the keyword the keyword will be equal equal 
Maksudnya kan Kalau A bagi satu elektron B bagi satu elektron A bagi satu elektron B bagi satu elektron Kalau A bagi dua elektron B bagi dua elektron Itu yang dipanggil Share equally Betul tak? Betul tak? Itu untuk ingkatan kovalen Yes or no? Tapi kan Apa yang berlaku dalam kes yang ini Dia share Dia share elektron Tetapi It is share not equally They share They do share the uh, electron Not equally Okay Siapa nak salin ni Cepat salin Saya nak tulis lagi <coughs> Sepatutnya untuk ikatan Covalent ya Covalent Talking about covalent Tetapi Dia ada tetapi Aha <coughs> okay, can I move on? <coughs> okay, saya padam. Dia macam ni tau. Dia terjadi, okay. Okay. Uh, <coughs> yang mana, yang mana, Pasangan elektron, elektron yang dikongsi Aha. berasal daripada satu atom sahaja. This is the keyword, ya. Yeah? Dalam datif, dalam datif, dia tak share, dia tak kongsi elektron dengan sama rata. Mm-hmm. Ya, yeah. tidak kongsi elektron dengan sama rata. Ini adalah keyword dia. It is share, it is share, uh, not Equally share the electron. Not equally share the electron. Not equal, eh? <coughs> Wait, Jeremy. I will translate one by one. <coughs> the uh, dative covalent bond is formed by by an an equal sharing of electron where the electron only from a electrons eh, plural electrons Only from a single atom. Hanya daripada satu sahaja. Hanya satu sahaja yang bagi elektron. <coughs> okay. Okay, guys, <coughs> saya padam ni sikit eh. Saya ada nak tulis lagi ni. Saya nak tulis lagi. <coughs> saya padam eh. Okay, dia jadi macam ni tau. Okay, dia jadi macam ni. <coughs> uh, eh, hey guys, dalam kelas yang sebelum ni, Do you still remember lone pair electron? Do you still remember lone pair electron? <coughs> Dalam bahasa Melayu apa? Dalam bahasa Melayu apa? Dalam bahasa Melayu apa? Yang semalam saya ajar. Elektron apa? Pasangan tunggal ya. Eh? Pasangan elektron. Tunggal 
Okay. Jadikan guys, jadikan guys, what happen? Okay. Jadikan guys, this is what happen. Kalau you nak buat dative covalent bond, dative covalent bond. Sekarang kau dengar dulu, nanti saya akan bagi contoh eh. Date, uh, sekejap eh. Whenever you have a dative, you nak buat dative covalent bond, it must have lone pair electron. <coughs> macam semalam kan? Macam semalam, saya ajar. Kalau you nak buat hydrogen bond, you nak buat hydrogen bond, apa syarat nak buat hydrogen bond? Cepat. Dia mesti kena ada phone. Very good. Ya, tadi ada soalan eh. Tanya. Tadi ada soalan. One of the student asked me. Lone pair is it single bond? No, Sarah. No, Sarah. Lone pair is not single bond. Later I tell you eh, Sarah. Okay. You want to make a dative covalent bond? You must have a lone pair electron. Lone pair electron dalam bahasa Melayu adalah elektron yang tidak digunakan. Ia adalah elektron yang tidak digunakan. Okay? Dalam bahasa Melayu eh. Ia adalah elektron yang tidak terlibat dalam dalam ikatan Kimia. It does not involve in a chemical reaction. Chemical bond, sorry. Eh? It does not involve in a chemical bond. <coughs> so, apa yang saya nak kaitkan? Apa yang saya nak kaitkan? Bila saya cakap lone pair electron dengar, eh? Those... Those electron, electrons are known as lone pair electron. Apa yang lone pair electron? Dia dalam bahasa Inggerisnya, beda. A pair of valence electron. That are not share drift other atom. Okay, with other atom. Okay, ni lah maksud dia. Ni lah maksud dia. <coughs> dia adalah sepasang elektron yang tidak dikongsi atau tidak terlibat dalam ikatan kimia. Mari saya tunjuk eh. Mari saya tunjuk. <coughs> Mari saya beri satu contoh eh. Saya padam ini boleh? Okay. Clear. Jadi kan, guys, korang ingat tak? NH3 yang saya ajar semalam. Macam mana nak lukis? Dia ada N, kan? Dia ada berapa valence electron? 5, ya? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Berapa hidrogen? 3. 1, 2, and 3. Then you have three hydrogen. Okay. And of course you make a bond, bond, bond. Hey guys. This is this drawing lah. Of course. Guys. Can I ask you something? Look at the structure a bit careful. Tengok betul-betul. Tengok betul-betul dia punya lukisan. Ada tak elektron yang tidak terlibat untuk membuat ikatan uh, kimia? Ada kan? Ha, ini, ini, saya guna warna lain. Ini, 
inilah dipanggil sebagai lone pair electron. Elektron tunggal. Pasangan elektron tunggal. Ataupun kita panggil pasangan elektron bebas. Sometimes juga dipanggil sebagai pasangan elektron bebas. Aha. Boleh juga. Boleh juga eh. Different name. <coughs> pasangan elektron bebas. Okay. Guys. Kau tengok eh. Structure yang saya bagi ni. Structure yang saya bagi ni. Molekul ni. Ada tak lone pair elektron? Ada tak lone pair elektron? Disebabkan dia ada lone pair elektron. Maka ia bolehlah buat ikatan Dative uh, Boleh buat ikatan dative Kenapa dia boleh buat ikatan dative? Disebabkan molekul ini ada lone pair elektron <coughs> Ini adalah pasangan elektron bebas Kau Jeremia, kau lupa kau tengok balik video saya semalam Yang saya dah hantar Kau lupa Kambingnya Lone pair elektron adalah yang tidak terlibat dalam tindak balas kimia. Macam ni. Macam ni. Dia bebas. Dia tak terikat dengan siapa-siapa. It does not involve it with the other elements. Okay, Divya ada soalan. Sir, NH3 can form hydrogen bond and dative bond. Ha, you wait. I will let you know in a short while. Okay, so, <coughs> so what happened, guys, so this one can make a dative covalent bond. Yes, you're already clear, very good. Now can guys, now can guys, cuba tengok saya bagi ni eh, CH4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. H, 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 H. Sekejap eh, nanti ada yang tanya. Okay, carbon have how many valence electron? Carbon have how many valence electron? F hey, valence electron, Shakirin. Bukan total electron. Sha, carbon ada empat valence electron. <coughs> Bila dia ada empat valence electron, berapa dia dah buat ikatan dengan hidrogen? Berapa yang dah buat ikatan dengan hidrogen? Empat. One, two, three and four. <coughs> Ni 1, 2, 3 and 4. Guys, you have this, you have this, you have this, you have this. Apa, apa, apa soalan dia? Sir, bukan ikatan dativ kan? Um, belum lagi Syakirin, tunggulah, tunggulah. Saya belum lagi habis. Ya. Yeah. Okay, guys, tengok struktur ini. Soalan saya, ada tak lone pair elektron? Ini ada tak lone pair elektron? Dia tak ada. Maka apa kesimpulannya? Apa kesimpulannya? What is the conclusion? CH4 tidak boleh buat ikatan dative. Therefore, the CH4 cannot make any dative covalent bond cannot make any dative covalent bond so on this slide on dalam kes ni saya sebenarnya nak tunjukkan kepada kamu yang mana boleh buat dative covalent bond yang mana tak boleh buat dative covalent bond itu je faham ke tak <coughs> ha very good eh okey saya nak padam ni Okay, very good. <coughs> okay, Jerami ada soalan. Ha, kau tanyalah. Itulah Farah duk puji, puji si Jerami muka Korea. Itulah jadinya. Ha, apa dia Jerami? The blue word beside there is what? Gitu. Blue word. Gini, ini, 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 ini. Betul? Buat ikatan dative. You want to translate this? Jeremiah? Oh, 
Jeremiah nak saya translate buat ikatan datif. Siapa pandai ya? Tu dia Alia dah masuk ya. Eh? Very good. Saya tahu. <laughs> okay, listen. Jeremiah, this is a very simple Malay. Okay. So, this simple Malay. Therefore, <laughs> Farakila. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I, I can do. Can do a dative bond. Can make a dative bond. Can make or can do a dative bond. Tak apa, kita bantu guys. Korea, yes. Korean, Korean. Okay, done. Uh, Jeremiah, you... Okay, Jeremiah, you are using... You are using laptop or you are using handphone? Wonder lah. You use handphone eh? Tak apa, tak apa. Kecil dia. Dah lah orang dia besar. Finger pun gemuk katanya. Okay, let's proceed. Let's it. Proceed. Let's proceed. Guys, I'm not just uh, finished the things. Eh? Can I continue? Can I continue? Ha, ya. Apa yang korang mengantuk ni? Binate betul lah. Ha? Kau apa yang kau mengantuk ni? Makan banyak ke? Ni aku nak maki ni. Nate tu apa eh? Sarah Mazia. Hmm, Jeremiah kejar malam Laila tu kodok. Alhamdulillah. Not is animal. Okay, done. Let's continue. Tak saya ada kawan orang Kelantan. Bukan nata di koko lah. Ya Allah. Not tu. Tak apa, tak apa. Let's continue, guys. Not is animal. Animal in Kelantan. <laughs> what animal? Okay, I don't want to say that word. <coughs> okay, guys. Now, now you look at here. Eh? Saya bagi satu contoh. I teach one, you do ten. Okay. Um, let's say you are given H Oh, ni susah ni, ni susah ni. Susah apa bendanya. And H2O ni, you want to combine, senang je, H plus. We want to do a dative covalent bond. Guys, either dia ada dative covalent bond ke tak, ikatan dative ke tak, you lukis dulu. You lukis dan tengok. You tengok sini eh. You ada H2O. H and H. Berapa? 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Tahu tak ini macam mana dapat? Sebab oksigen kan 2, 6. Dia ada 6 valence electron. So, 2 kat sini, 2 kat sini. Okay, guys. Boleh tak saya tanya satu soalan? Dia ada tak lone pair electron? Do I have a lone pair electron for this one? Pasangan electron bebas. Yes. Dia ada pasangan elektron bebas. Bila dia ada pasangan elektron bebas, boleh tak dia buat ikatan datif? Boleh tak dia buat ikatan datif? Ya, boleh buat ikatan datif. 
Okey, sekarang ni guys, dia nak kahwin, dia nak kahwin dengan siapa? H plus. Apa tu? Okey, H plus. Dia nak kahwin dengan H plus. Where is the lone pair? Ma Sarah, lone pair inilah yang tak ada yang ini semua ni lone pair ni. Yang tak ada pasangan. Faham? Okay. Uh, Sarah Mazri, Mazri is asking question. Eh, uh, Sarah, you can put it in a pri- uh, ni. You tengah private tu. Sarah, put it in a ni. Chat room. Boleh eh? <coughs> so, ik- uh, lone pair electron dia ni. Lone pair electron dia. Inilah. Inilah yang hijau ni lah. Lone pair electron. The green part is the lone pair electron. Guys, can I ask you a question? Hydrogen. Hydrogen ada berapa electron? How many electron do a hydrogen have? One. Guys, if I say H plus, apa maksud H plus? Did I donate no more electron? So, zero electron. Aha. Donated. Dia telah derma. Tapi kau tengok, dia ada tak elektron? Dia ada lagi tak elektron? H plus ni ada tak elektron? Dia tak ada elektron. Okay, one more thing eh. H is a non-metal. It is a non-metal. And oxygen. Oxygen is a another non-metal. Therefore, kan guys, dua-dua ni adalah non-metal. Therefore, they can make a covalent bond. They can make a covalent bond. Ha, dia bukan pinjam lah. Sebenarnya dia bagi. Okay, mari saya bagi. Tengok eh. Dia, okay dengar sini betul-betul. Dia ni, dia ni, dia ni, H plus ni. Dia tak ada apa-apa. Tapi dia still nak kahwin dengan oksigen. Ha, dia nak make a bonding with the oksigen. But hydrogen is running out of electron. Therefore, kan guys, you listen, you listen. Dia tetap nak kahwin. So, oxygen surrender. Oxygen surrender. Oxygen tell, ha. Huh? Oxygen tell hydrogen, okay lah, okay lah, we get married lah. Tapi, the best part, I will sponsor you all my electron for you. In order we can married. Dia nak kahwin juga. Okey lah, saya kawinlah dengan kau. Saya sponsor elektron saya untuk kamu. Yes, like giving the money. You have no money but you are still one uh, friend with me. Okey lah, okey lah, I friend with you, I give you some money. I give you some money. Understand? Therefore, kan guys, you tengok sini betul-betul. <laughs> Gold digger tak tahulah. Then guys, it become like this. Tengok sini eh. You have a H and H. Di mana H datang sini kan? This is the originally dari bersini. Originally dari bersini. Okay. So what happened? Both of this electron, both of this electron is given to the hydrogen. Not both lah. They share electron dengan hydrogen. Therefore, dia bagilah elektron itu kepada hydrogen. Dia kan, ni, 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 ada arrow ni. Inilah dipanggil sebagai ikatan datif. Ah, arrow itulah dipanggil ikatan datif. Dalam exam, you kena tulis arrow ini. Kalau you tak tulis arrow, itu bermaksud covalent. Ada arrow, itu datif. Apa maksud arrow ini? Elektron tu datangnya daripada oksigen kepada hidrogen. This indicate the electron is actually from the oxygen to the hydrogen. That's why I put it over here, the arrow to indicate the presence of the, the flow of the electron. Faham ke tak? Faham ke tak? Faham ke tak? Okay. How much they share? Look at that. Eh? It's a very good question. Nur Batrisha. Okay? Balkis. Eh? 
dia kan tak boleh lah bagi dua-dua elektron tu kepada hidrogen. Buat apa? Saya ada dua elektron. Okey lah. Saya bagi engkau satu. Kita share lah. Saya bagi satu. Saya tak boleh bagi dua-dua kat engkau. If I give both of my electron to you, I'm the one. So, stupid. I don't want. I give you, I have two, I give you one. We share. We share. Do you understand or not what's going on? Faham tak? <coughs> okay, Patricia tak faham. Alia pun okay. Tak apa, tak apa. I bagi sekejap eh. Dia bukan share elektron. Dengar eh. When I say share elektron, you should give one each. Hydrogen bagi satu, oksigen bagi satu, then we are share elektron to form one covalent bond. Tetapi, dalam kes yang ini, dua-dua elektron di datangnya daripada oksigen untuk buat ikatan dengan hidrogen. Dua-dua elektron tu datangnya daripada oksigen kepada hidrogen. Ideally, you should give one electron each to make one covalent bond. Unfortunately, in this case, both electron is actually come from the oxygen to make a single covalent bond. Do you get or not uh, the idea? <coughs> yeah, itulah dia tak sama. Dia tak sama rata. Jadi, guys, bila seorang, okay, dah lah oksigen bagi dua-dua elektron dia. Dia bagi elektron untuk buat ikatan, kan? Apa yang hidrogen boleh bagi dekat dia? As a return. I give you electron, hydrogen, what can you give me as a return? That's a question. Kasih sayang. Nothing. Kalau nothing boleh kena buang tu. Korang perasan tak one thing? Korang perasan tak? Hydrogen ni, charge dia apa? Charge dia apa? Maka, when you do the dative coiling bond, the entire of the thing will charge positive. This is your situation. Yeah. Kelas saya kena dengar je. Lepas tu, you akan faham. Any question? Any question? I will redo this yeah, to make it clearer. O bagi electron H bagi H plus. Yes, it's a win-win situation. Win-win situation. Jump. <coughs> Tak adalah adil, boleh je kali dah. So, sir, the another lone pair electron at the oxygen can also do the some, same thing again. Okay, very good question. Kali dah, cannot. I will explain a bit later. Why cannot, eh? Oh, adil juga akhirnya. No, teacher, do you have like a personal lesson? Sarah Mazri, later we talk, yeah? Okay? How the th uh, thing become positive? Repeat, sir. <laughs> Hydrogen mana ada charge negative? It's only positive. Sir, I cannot brain. Why? Why, Sarah? Uh, let me explain one to one. Okay, wait, Jeremiah. I'm, uh, I'll talk. Oh, so, sir, itulah dia kata tak sama rata. Ya, yeah, dia tak sama rata. De definitely, I will give more example. Tunggulah. Saya akan repeat. Korang sabar dulu. Saya just terangkan teori. Okay. <coughs> 
Okay, Shakirin, tengok soalan kamu. Sekalau non-metal dengan metal boleh kahwin ke? Itu kan ikatan ionik. That is ionic bond. Now, I'm talking about covalent bond. It's a different story. This theory is weird. Why weird? It is not weird, Jeremy. I'll give you a simple example. Let's say you are so handsome, like Korean. <sighs> Then you have nothing to give to a, maybe to your girlfriend. So, end out, end out. Your girlfriend accepts you. She give you money, but you give what? <laughs> nothing. Yes, you give nothing. You might give your face only. That's the only thing that your girlfriend get, Jeremiah. <coughs> okay, good. Let's look at here. I erase this, guys. Listen, eh? Listen. Now you look at here. They match me. H two O plus H plus K. Ini lah jadi. H3O plus. <coughs> therefore, therefore, <coughs> you have uh, O, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then you have H, And H, iya, baru ramai faham ya. Itulah, saya akan ulang, jangan risau. Okay, minus and minus. Guys, you tengok sini eh. Inilah dipanggil lone pair elektron. I have a lone pair elektron. Jadikan, hidrogen pun datang. Dan, 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 dan. Hydrogen want to make a bond. Hydrogen want to make a bond. To the with the uh, oxygen, but hydrogen have nothing other than this positive charge. But oxygen willing to accept hydrogen. They sanggup terima hydrogen walaupun hydrogen tak ada apa apa. So what happen? Dua elektron ni dia akan bagi buat satu ikatan kovalen with hydrogen. It form like this. Betul? Maka, you dapat, I redraw, then you dapat O, 1, 2, 3, H, H, H. Ada lone pair elektron dekat sini. Okay, good. Then, guys, as a return, apa yang benda ni dapat? Apa yang kita dapat? Yes, it will charge three. Eh, this will charge a positive. So inilah yang berlaku ke atas. Ini adalah ini. Ini adalah ini. <coughs> Faham? Dia gunakan sepasang elektron untuk buat satu ikatan kovalen. So, dua-dua elektron tu dia gunakan untuk buat satu ikatan kovalen. It doesn't lose, Jeremiah. If you say lose electron, that's indicate a ionic bond. Gain electron and lose electron is referring to the ionic bond. Now, we are talking a sharing electron. Sharing electron is referred to the kovalen bond. Dan, <coughs> okay, ini uh, Amar dengan tadi pun ada seorang tanya, Sir, boleh tak yang ini buat de uh, dative coilum bond? Okay, guys, ideally, kamu akan rasa, oh, ada lorong pay elektron, bolehlah dibuat. Memang logik, teorinya betul, but it is not acceptable. Tak boleh. Tak boleh. Sebab apa tau? Sebab apa eh? Dia ada satu faktor sebabkan let's say eh. Let's say another hydrogen is coming in. 
Kan? Apa yang berlaku? Dia nak datang buat dative coin rainbow dengan ni kan? There is a problem. There is a problem. Problemnya apa? Siapa tahu? Siapa tahu? Not be, uh, <coughs> Okay, betul. That is true as well. Good. Ini charge apa? Ini charge apa? Positif. Ini kan charge positif. Positif, positif apa jadi? <coughs> Repel. So, dia tak bagilah dia masuk. Dia tak bagilah dia masuk. Dan juga, dengar satu lagi faktor. There is one more reason. There is one more reason. Bila benda ni nak masuk dalam, sebenarnya kan dia nak masuk dalam. Macam mana dia nak masuk dalam? Ruang dia sempit. The space are too limited. When the space are too limited, it cannot enter. Therefore, the dative covalent bond it can't make it. We can't make it. Faham tak? Dia tak boleh nak masuk. Sebab ruang dia tak cukup. Yang ni, yang ni, bolehlah masuk. Tahu tak kenapa? Kau tengok betul-betul oksigen kau lukis macam mana? Macam ni kan? Macam ni kan? Macam ni kan? Dia ada tak banyak ruang yang terdedah? Banyak ruang tak terdedah? Dekat sini. Banyak. Sebab itulah hidrogen ion boleh masuk dengan senang. Tapi bila dia dah buat macam ni, bila dia dah buat macam ni, ruang dia dah semakin sempit. Bila semakin sempit, maka dia susah lah nak masuk untuk buat dative covalent bond. You must keep this. Please keep in mind. Okay. Any, okay, question. Jeremiah have a question. <coughs> yeah, betul. DVR. Whoever. It's limit for three. Okay, guys, when you go to a bit higher level, when you go to a big, uh, higher level of chemistry, then you will learn more complex of the dative covalent bond. At this moment, I will suggest only uh, the hydrogen plus is enough. Boleh lah hafal raki lah. Boleh lah hafal macam tu. You, Jeremiah, you give two one shot. Hmm, yelah tu. No. Who, siapa cepat dia dapat? You kan lelaki idaman Malaya, Farana, Kalidana, lepas tu Farhan pun nak, uh, siapa, Alia nak, semua nak you lah. Jeremiah. Okay. So, okay. Please. Okay. So, I'm going to give another example. Please, please, please. I'm going to give another example. Are you ready? Okay, good. Jap, ada satu. <coughs> uh, dative covalent bond ni ada. Nanti saya bagi tahu dekat properties dia. Boleh eh? Okay. Eh, jap. Guys, sebelum saya lupa, benda ni, benda ni ada nama tau. Ha. Benda ni, yang NH3 ni ada nama. Nama dia adalah Hydroxonium ion. Hydroxonium ion. Aku tahu. Hydroxonium eh. Kejap. Kita ada satu. Oh, ya. Yeah. I made, made it. <coughs> Ion. Hydroxonium. It's an X, ya? Yeah? It's an X. Sekejap lah. Saya padam lah. Nanti ada yang tak nampak. 
I write it properly for you. Eh? Hydrozonium iron. Please remember this. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna erase this. I'm gonna erase this. Okay, guys. Now you look at here. I want you to do this for me. Please, please, please. <coughs> you have NH3 plus H plus. Draw the diagram for you. <coughs> sometime, sometime, listen here, guys. Maybe I correct it a bit to make it more confused. H2O, which is ini Allah ammonia, and of course, this is water. Water. Okay, draw the diagram for me, please. Please. Okay, done. Done. <coughs> Madi saya aja. So how do you know? How do you know what? Wish to map. Gapa one door ni. You, you, the clue is the lone pair electron. The lone pair electron, yes. <coughs> Look at here. Let me teach you, baby. You have an NH3. H, H, and H. You have a two electron. Guys, you have a negative over here, am I right? Of course, the negative will attract it to something that is a positive. Something that positive. Guy, do you know or not? What is water? What is water? Don't say H2O. Eh? <clears throat> okay, guys. What is H2O? Guys, Gucci Gucci, no baby, H2O sebenarnya adalah H plus dan OH minus, ini tambah ini dapatlah H2O, <coughs> ingat, you must remember this, then guys, you listen eh, Therefore, in the charge negative, you will attract it to positive or attract it to negative. Tell me, you are going to positive or you are going to negative. Mestilah you pilih positive. Maka you ambil positive itu, positive, H positive. Guys, do the H plus, H plus tu ada tak elektron? Ada tak elektron? No, tapi nitrogen ada tak lone pair electron? Nitrogen ada tak lone pair electron? 
maka boleh tak nitrogen buat dative covalent bond dengan hydrogen? Boleh tak nitrogen buat dative covalent bond dengan hydrogen? Yes, bingo. It make a dative covalent bond, maka dapatlah N, arrow jangan lupa, H, H, N, H, N, H. So, what is the as what is the written? What is the written for this one? Apa written dia? Sebagai balasan dia dapat apa? Dia dapatlah N H 4 plus. Ini ammonia. Ini ammonium. Dua benda yang berbeza. Ammonia, ammonium. Ammonia, ammonium. Okay, Khalida have a question. So, so where do the OH minus go? A very good question. Remember, the, it is actually we are trying to dissolve. We try to dissolve this thing. Am I right? The OH minus is in the solution as a free moving ion. Dia ada je dalam larutan itu sebagai ion bergerak bebas. Kau ingat tak? Kamu ingat tak sebelum ni saya pernah cerita pasal electrolyte? Electrolyte. Ha, dia wujudlah sebagai electrolyte. Dia wujudlah dalam bentuk electrolyte. Very good. Okay. We are finishing the chapter very soon. Yes, yes. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Hmm, maksud kau apa ya? Ha. Okay, wait. Huh? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you are referring to these two electron. Okay, Jeramia. Okay, your question? Hmm. Why doesn't met with the previous with the previous hydrogen? Which hydrogen you are referring to? We only have one hydrogen over here. Hmm. Hmm. Three hydrogen. Because you look carefully, the formula, I think this one is a covalent bond I teach you earlier. Nitrogen is 2, 5, it's a structural, and the hydrogen is 1. Jadikan, therefore, nitrogen, dia kurang, it is lack of 3 electron. And the hydrogen is lack of 1 electron. Then they combine... To form a compound as the NH3. Dia bentuk NH3. Tetapi, okay, once they have formed an NH3, yeah, you are happy family. You already have an octet. Look carefully. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Octet. It's already octet. But now is the problem is, there is a 
fought hydrogen suddenly appear from the water. You take this, you pour into the water. You are you are dissolving in the water. When you are dissolving in water, then I notice in this water molecule, I do have a H plus and OH minus. And lucky enough, this nitrogen comes with a lone pair electron, which is negatively charged, and this hydrogen is positively charged from water, attracted to form a dative covalent bond, which is called as a NH4+. Yes. Okay, good. Any other question? Question, question. No, eh? So more crystal clear, eh? Okay, this will end our hydrogen bond. After this, we are going to... Uh, sorry, the... Uh, uh, is the, the sorry not hydrogen bond. This is the dative covalent bond. After this, we are going to enter the metallic bond, ik, uh, ikatan logam. So get ready, guys. <laughs>